Good morning. All right. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, John. I've got my dog in here because uh, I don't know why, so we'll see if I need to have her exit. All right, no equipment needed today. We're just gonna do a nice kind of fluid movement here to um, just really keep the body moving, get the energy flowing here. So we're gonna come to the mats on our back and I have a little bit of music on. If it sounds like it's too loud, once I get started, I'm gonna lower it a little bit. Um, let me know. All right. Okay, so. Actually, before we come to the mats, I can't start without <laughs> at least a deep stretch up and exhale, lowering down, let that head drop, and then one knee at a time bends for four, three, two, one, and already you're engaging those abdominals as you roll up and those shoulder rolls for four, three, two, one. One, and then take the arms out and just kind of side to side for four, three, two, one, and then let's go ahead. So we're gonna do kind of a traditional Pilates, hey Chrissy, um, workout where there's kind of a certain flow to it. So we'll go through that, and then if we have some extra time, we'll do some other things. All right, so we're gonna start on the back. So Joseph Pilates always loved to start with 100 to get that energy going. Like a lot of times I'll do that cardio a little bit, but we're gonna try his traditional ways today and see what everyone thinks. Arms up, remember modified version, legs in tabletop, lifting out, legs out, and pumping the arms. Inhale, and exhale. And again, inhale. Pump those arms real solidly, exhale, and three, four, wrap those legs around towards the inner thighs, and six, and seven, eight, nine, Last inhale, and exhale. From here, straighten those legs, bring them all the way down to the mat as the arms go overhead. Exhale, roll up, flex those feet, reach towards those toes, and then pull those abdominals in as you slowly lower, arms over. And again, pulling on and reach over. Slowly lower. Comment to me if that music is too loud. Exhale, pulling on and reaching over. And lower. Two more. Pull on. Remember, you got that C curve as you reach forward. And lower. And last one. Pulling on. And slowly lower. Okay, in this series, the next thing is the rollover where you take the legs up. We worked on this a bit, see if it feels okay. Legs are gonna go up and over, reaching over. Pull those abdominals on, bring those legs back. And again, pulling on, legs go up and over, and lower. Two more here, press through those arms, reaching up and over, and slowly down. And last one, slowly down, good. Now we're going to go ahead and do leg circles. Right leg goes up. You circle across the leg and back up to center for five. Four, keep the hips steady. Three, two, last one, and circle the opposite way, taking it out and around. It's like that. The hips stay steady, perfect little circle through the top of the foot. You think about creating that circle on the ceiling for two more. And last one, bend that knee into the chest, and then switch sides. Left leg comes in and up, across the body, across the leg first for five, and four, and three, two, and one, 
and reverse the circles for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Arms come overhead, roll yourself up, and then we're going to do rolling like a ball here, okay? So holding on to the outside of the ankles, lift the toes up, find that balance, eyes towards your abdominals, roll back and up. And again, back and up. And pull those abdominals on. And three more. And last two. And last one. Good. Now you're going to, from here, just bend that right knee into the chest. Left leg goes straight out. I've got the right hand towards the right ankle. You pull and switch. And switch. So you're bending one knee at a time in. Upper body stays lifted unless you need to put it down for the neck. And exhale. Keep going here. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. For eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now bend both knees into the chest. Keep the upper body lifted. Arms and legs go out and in, out and in, out and in. Let's do four more. Watch those abdominals, pull them in. Three, I'm gonna go slow on this one, pull them in, in. And last one, pull those abdominals on. Good, now roll yourself up for open leg rocker. Actually, sorry, spine stretch first, okay. So feet are a little more than hip distance apart. Arms come out. This is where you've got that ball in your stomach. You pull those abdominals on and reach forward. And then sit yourself back up nice and tall. It's like you're on two thumbtacks and against a wall, so you're nice and lifted. Pulling on, round forward. And round yourself back up till you're nice and lifted. And again, Pulling on and reach forward, and abdominals on and lift. One more here, pulling deep on through those abdominals towards the spine, towards the back, and nice and lifted. Great, from here, you're gonna go ahead and do open leg rocker. So you hold on to both ankles, lift up nice and tall here, and then you're gonna go ahead and roll back and roll up. And again, and up. Oh, tough one for me this morning. And lift, and again, roll back, and lift. Two more, rolling back, and lift. And one more, roll back, and lift. Hold it up, find that balance, lift that chest, and then let's go ahead, lower the legs down for saw where you've got your legs, again, a little wider, about as wide as your mat. Arms are out to the side. Exhale, rotate, pinky finger towards pinky toe. Pull those abdominals on, looking up towards, or back towards your back hand. Lifting tall, exhale, rotate, and reach towards the opposite side. Pulling on and lifting. Exhale, reach and lift, exhale and reach, and lift one more each side, and reach, and lift, and exhale, reach, and lift. Nice, then you're gonna come onto your stomach. Your forearms are, you're on your forearms. You make fists and bring the fists together. Now, if your knees bother you when you do it, just stay here in this extension, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna kick your heel towards your butt for one, two, three, switch to the other side. One, two, three. And again, use your glutes, your hamstrings, but real important here, you've got those abdominals pulled on so that they're not like hanging out towards the mat. They're pulling on towards your spine. One more each side, and one, two, three. Three. Good. From here, you're going to interlace the hands behind your head. Forehead is down. 
and then you're gonna um, keep your elbows bent to start and then three times you click the heels towards the butt. So it's one, two, three. Extend those legs out, abdominals on, and lift that chest up. And again, lower, and one, two, three, and reach up, getting that lift through the abdominals. And one, two, three, and reach up. And last time, one, two, three, three, and reach up, stay there, pull those abdominals on, get that extension through the back for three, two, one, release, and for just a moment, go into child's pose here, relax your head down, just take an inventory, how's your body feeling with it, nice deep breath, let's do one more breath here. Okay, come onto your back. I know my music like lasted one time. Uh, looks like my computer's updating. Awesome. Okay, so interlace the hands behind the head. Flex the feet, and this is neck pull here. Chin towards the chest, reaching up and reach up and over towards your feet, towards your legs, I should say, and then lift nice and tall. Pitch your body back. Round your spine and lower. And again, reaching up, over towards your toes, so round spine. Then you lengthen up, pitch back, round the spine and lower. Two more, lifting up, reach over towards those toes, lifting nice and tall, pitch back, round your spine down. And last one, exhaling up and over, Reaching up tall, pitch back round the spine and lower. Take your right leg up for two pulses and switch. Legs are straight and switch and switch and switch and switch and switch and keep going here for eight more. Seven, six, keep that lift in the upper body. Five, four, Three, two, keep that lift up. Interlace the hands behind your head for bicycle. Side to side here. Exhale and exhale. Get that nice rotation. Keep that lift with your upper body. Exhale and exhale for eight more. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, good. Now from here, let's go ahead, and lower the head down, lower the legs, arms come down to your side, you slowly bridge up here. You take that right leg up straight, flex down, point up, flex down, point up. Keep going, three, four, five, Seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Good. Switch sides. So I flex up, pointed down. Left legs up. Flex and point. Flex and point. Two, three, four, five, six. Keep that lift through the pelvis. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Slowly bridge down here. And then we're going to go ahead and from here do side kicks. All right. So you are on your side. And we're going to be head all the way down today. You're going to bring the legs forward just a little bit. And then you're going to go ahead and Lift the leg up about, um, let's do it all the way up. We flex up and point down. So remember, this hip needs to stay long. Flex up and point down. And three, four, five, six, seven. I just have my hand on my hip just to make sure it doesn't rise up too far. Nine and ten. 
Good. Then what you're going to do is you bring it forward and back. We're going to do two pulses for it. So you pulse, pulse, and bring it back. And again, three. Pulse, pulse, and back. And four. Pulse, pulse, and back. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Okay, let's come up and over to the other side here. All the way down on your side. Bring those legs forward just a little bit. Hand on the hip to make sure that hip doesn't rise up, it stays down. Flex up, point down. And again. And three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. Good. And then let's go ahead, pulse forward and back. So it's two pulses forward and back. Still watching that balance. Abdominals and pelvis, try to stay steady. And four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two pulses forward, one back. And ten. Good. And lower down. Nice. Okay. From the side kicks, we're going to go ahead and do teaser here. So come onto your back. Arms up towards the ceiling. Legs in tabletop to start. Exhale. Rising up. And lower down. And again, exhale. Reach it up. And lower. Let's get down here. And again, exhale, reach it up. Now this time, if you want, lower the legs straight down, arms overhead, and then just come up in one piece, arms and legs. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. Last one, and lift, and whichever way, go ahead and lower. Hug the knees into the chest, and then we roll back over for one more um, on your stomach called swimming that we've done. So arms are straight out, legs are straight out. On that exhale, lift the arms and legs up, and go for it, opposite arm and leg. It's like you're swimming in the water, your shoulder girdle is nice and engaged, shoulder blades are helping with that movement with the arms. Opposite arm and leg kick, abdominal stay connected for 10 more. Watch where your neck is, nine. Not too forward with the eyes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, push back into child's pose here. And breathing. Good, coming back up. All right, from here we're gonna go ahead and do leg pull front. I have a super hard time with this one. I'm gonna try it on the ground with a more solid surface. So ideally your hands are facing in like this, okay? If it's too much, your hands could be out. But the basic position is you're reaching up with your legs straight out, and then you lift one leg at a time like this, okay? So I'll show you a very poor version of it. Abdominals on and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. Good, keep the pelvis lifted. You see how I'm sinking, that's not good. <laughs> keep that lift, and lift, and left. One more each side, and lift. I'm not sure where I'm so weak that I have such a hard time with that one. Like maybe just a little bit everywhere. Okay, coming up. And then leg pull. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do it forward here. So you're in that plank position. And then one leg at a time pulls in. One knee at a time pulls in. And switch. 
and switch, and switch. Keep alternating here. And from here, we'll do 20 more. Doesn't seem like a very nice countdown, right? Do you want to go five or 10? All right, so I'll count down from 10. And from here, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then push back into down dog here for a moment. Take a nice stretch. Good. All right, coming in. You're going to be on the mat, on your knee, one knee, and one hand for the kind of like the sideline that we did, but we're going to be in this position. And then you're going to come up and lower down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it up on 10 and circle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lower. Good. Coming down and over to the other side. And reaching up onto that knee. Up and down. So about hip height is good for this one. Watching that the hips stay stacked. And four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it up and circle. Dominal stay connected. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Lowering down. All right. And then we've got side angle plank. All right. Okay. Sorry. I made a list of everything because I kind of wanted to keep in this specific order today. So if you see me. Um, all right. So you're going to have the back leg in front of um, the front leg. So the top leg goes back. And then you're going to lift up here and then rolling under and up. And two and three, four, five, six to ten, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We'll just stick with those for now so we can get through this in the push-up and the stretch. Okay, and then other side, so top leg behind, and then lifting, and roll, twist under. And two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, lift up and lower. Good. Okay. So now we go into the last one of this series I was doing today, which is with the push-ups here. All right. So you lift up nice and tall and then you round forward. Take about four walks to get out. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to back up. So I'm in the camera and then three push-ups. For the Pilates version, it's um, elbows stay close to your side. So one, however low you can go, two, three, and then walk your hands back. And then you come up nice and tall. And again, lowering down, four count to get out. One, two, three, four, and three push-ups here. One, two, three, walk back. Okay, another version for the last two. If you want, you can take the right leg back and then come down kind of in a balance on one side, 
Walk out for one, two, three, four. Keep that leg up and do the three push-ups like that. One, two, three, and then walk back with that right leg or whichever leg's still up and you kind of end in like a little split, a little stretch. And then lower down and reach up nice and tall. And one more on the other side. So do the original or take that opposite leg out. Lower down, walk out. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then the push-ups here. And one, two, three. Walk back, extend that left leg up. Get that stretch there. Reach the head down. If you've got both legs down, just take that stretch forward. And lower down. Bend the knees and roll up. Good. And then we're going to go ahead and end with a stretch or two. So let's come down. I did like that stretch that we did. Maybe I'm going to do it up here so you can see me better. Where you cross one ankle over the knee so you get a little deeper. And reaching forward. Good. So let me know what you thought. That's kind of... Um, there's kind of two lands in Pilates. A lot of people like a more traditional Pilates, like exactly the way that Joseph Pilates did. A lot of other people have adapted and changed it as we've kind of grown and learned more about the body. So that's kind of the approach I typically take, but this was more of the traditional order. I left out maybe a couple things, switched to the other side. Um, but I think there's a lot of power in that system too. Coming forward, opposite ankle on the knee, and to mix it up. Yesterday I felt like we were a little more creative with it, doing the weight with everything, which is fun. But um, you know me, I like to mix it up for everybody. Uh, because you might find something that works really well for you. So, And I do believe in Joseph Pilates thought, you know, it's that mind-body-spirit connection with it. So you work out your mind, your body, it improves your mind and your spirit for the day too. So that's kind of what I've always um, loved about that. Any movement, right, does that for you, but different movements for everyone. And then go ahead and reach forward about hip distance apart, dropping the head here. You know, people, even in Pilates world, can get very detailed, go wide with your legs and let your head drop, which is great for the body to really know it well. But I think, you know, just like anything, we don't need to be so extreme that you can't play around with different ideas of what works well for movement. Good. And then slowly coming up. Last stretch here. Bend one knee and reach that knee towards the ground as your chest lifts up. And then switch to the other side. Lifting up, I really feel that stretch in my quad here in the front of the leg. I get tight through there, but if you really gotta press up that knee down and lift that chest up to get that stretch. Oh my gosh, you see my camera shaking. Olive was a rock star here. She was so quiet that she's shaking my camera now. All right. Uh, Merlot, hi, nice to see you, Linda. Uh, one person I don't recognize, Jeanette's on here. Hi, mom. Um, all right, guys, so great to see you. Let me know what you thought, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good day.